ushers in different uh, sanctuaries and uh, kwa neema ya Mungu nimeandika vitabu kadha uh, but nimekuja tu na kimoja leo uh, this is my latest book inaitwa the art of effective church ushering ah uh, huwa uh, ni manual lambao nimeandika by the grace of god ya kuwafunza ushers hospitality team protocol team na security team na for this one nitamfuatia mtungaji as a gift amen Thank you very much. It's a simple book and uh, because I know our pastor is also a teacher. Mm. He's a teacher of the word. Mm. I'm very sure through that also there is something he get that will be benefit with the, the team here yeah, Asha mm. Now when I was asking God, what do you want me to tell your people? Uh Mungu alinipa neno la siku ya leo uh, na title ya ujumbe wa siku ya leo ni complete obedience complete obedience and maybe for those who are writing unaweza andika complete obedience uh, semicolon uh, an avenue to divine encounter an avenue to divine encounter unajua wakati mwingi for last believers we pray and we pray and we seek god and we fast but sometimes in the process of seeking god and bringing our needs to him we don't listen to the instructions that he is given us so we have developed a culture of pushing pray until something happens mm -hmm. so unakuja unaomba 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 then at some point unamaliza kuomba unaenda but later on we don't now sit down when we are because God expects us to be his friend. Yes. So we have a communion. It's a communion. You'll be concerned. That person is not even concerned. Amanda and Amanda. Kesho kana atakuja the same thing after the Gaida that you can get yama for yama. And God wants us to have communion with Him. So it's not pray until something happens. Sometimes it's you pray until you hear God. You pray until you hear God. Nemo roga ikarane. Okori ngai. Oreda. Oreda. Jekiate. And God is very precious. He'll always give you instructions in every need. Because Mungu is the Alpha and the Omega. Yes. The beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. He sees the end from the beginning. Saizi, ni wei ginya kuwa kura atia. Ginya shiana shia kuiga adho ma atia. Na wai kuka madigere liyo maku. Maka haan atia. And one thing, the Bible has assured us, madigere liyo maito. Amen. And so God knows He has the bigger picture. We don't run right now and around us, but God knows the end. Amen. I can attest to you going to the university na kurudi na unamaliza vizuri. Inagarimu mkono wabwana. Tumekua pale na we have seen munaanza vizuri but munamaliza almost 50% na wengine walipotilea pale. Now, what is obedience? What is obedience? Maybe what I will do, I will give a synonym to obedience. Now, obedience is submission. It's submission. We can say it's honor. It's respect. Or it's compliance. For example, wakati county government imesema kwa biashara kuwe na permit, now you comply by having that permit. 
if you don't have permit watakuja na wanaweza kushika sababu you have not obeyed the rules and the regulations of the county same as in this kingdom there are rules and regulations and this is the manual that we follow this manual is full of uh, terms and conditions rules and regulations and if you follow all the terms that are there faithfully you live a fruitful life bwana sifiwe utapata kuna promises nyingi sana ambazo tumetoa kwa hii manual ya life but all those promises comes with a condition mm -hmm. now it's for us now to obey the conditions mm -hmm. the terms and conditions the rules and the regulation and now from there now we will be able to partake of those promises bwana sifiwe that our god is very faithful whatever he has promised he will fulfill to his faithful servant bwana sifiwe now the opposite of obedience is disobedience yes. disobedience now disobedience we can say it stubbornness you are stubborn you lack respect you lack discipline also we can use a term like rebellion ignorance uh, like for example when mchungaji uh, has invited us for prayer or for any meeting and you don't show up that is disobedience that is a rebellion and the bible says if you wakati unaangalia kwa kitabu cha samuel and there is the story of a uh, king saul maandishi anasema pale rebellion is like divination ni kama utuchawi ama uganga ni dhambi ni kama idolatry bwana sifiwe just being disobedient inaweza kuma ukose kufika kwa hatima yako na ningetaka tusome kutoka our key uh, verse for the day uh, we read from genesis genesis chapter 12 uh, genesis chapter 12 uh, verse 1 to 7 Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 7 and then later on we will go to 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1 to 16 though because of time we may not be able to read all those uh, verses lakini tutaenda pole pole uh, media we are ready yes uh, kwa wale ambao maybe hauna bibiria lakini i also encourage you carry your bible yes Uh, I discourage using your phone in church. Unasoma ka message ka tala na kujomoka. Ama unaona landlord kuna message ya landlord. Kabu hata unaona kama huta soma unaona. So you be carried out from the presence of God and God was talking to you. Always carry the word of God. Now Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 we can read together. The Lord has said to Abraham Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you. Now I want to look at that. Leave your country. Yes. Sasa, I'm Kenya. Yeah. Number two, leave your people. Yes. Your community, your neighbor, those people who are around you, your friends. And number three, your father's household. Even your mother, your father, your, your brothers and sisters, just leave mm -hmm. and go to the land I will show you. Mm -hmm. you proceed. Mm -hmm. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. Look at those promises. Yes. Know that they know. Like, you know, I will make you into a great nation, not just a great person mm. but a great i don't tell me where we need to ever i will bless you yes i will make your name great you know what it means by having a great name yani to kipita pale maybe you have never met that person no mushu ni wanga ni yes you know when you talk about somebody or something you refer to a certain name you never met the person but that person has done great things for example wakati unaongea mambo za bill gate ama present plan you know you can tell a lot about that person and you never met him but god can make you great in a great way and you be a blessing yes. so you have been a blessed you have been blessed 
but you will have much more that will be a blessing. Amen. We proceed. Yes. But remember, there was a there was kuna mashalti ya beto apali. He was asa this promise is the answer. I will bless those who bless you, Amen. and whoever curses you, I will curse. Amen. And all people on earth will be blessed Amen. through you. Amen. Now, if he will curse those who will curse you, that means your enemies are his enemies. Mm -hmm. God will curse yeah. the diseases. She does the kija, he will curse. What do you You know, in this world, you will always have challenges here and there. They will always be there. But God will always fight for you. Amen. He promised our father Ab Abraham, and we are his descendants. Mm -hmm. So this world are not only for Abraham, mm -hmm. but for us, because we are his descendants. What does he do? It? We proceed. So Abraham left. Yes. So he was given conditions. Yes. He was given instructions. Go. Lakini ameambiwa ni wapi? Na ndio wakuma Kenya na goto ma Somalia. Go to a country which are called you there wapi? So he was you can walk in there get you the north. Mwe hoko kana arore 44. But what we are told yeye aliamka na akaenda. So Abraham left as the Lord had told him. As the Lord had told him. Yes. And the Lord went with him. Uh, Abraham was 75 years old when he set out from uh, Haran uh, to proceed. Maybe we can go to verse 7 because of time. Verse 7 uh, The Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your offspring, I will give this land. Kwa hivyo wa mefika, ni ya kinya ilo kuwe ni wadhiye. Bata kuna wakati ya leongyo ugambi, wakinya kwa na kulani, ni wakora kere ma, ni wakora roe, but you can be very sure, as long as there was a journey, you could go on a corner, milima, mito, na mambo kama hali. So the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, to your offspring, I will give you this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. God has killed Amen. Look at that kind of obedience. Mm -hmm. He just obeyed. It. And God's instructions are usually very precise. Yes. He will not give you something complicated. Mm -hmm. And everything he will tell you to do is something you have the capacity and grace to do. Mungu ki kwambia, you know, the idea of what you want to do is that you have to do with God. Now, uh, we will also go to uh, Kings, First King, chapter 17. Again, we will not read uh, all the verses there. Uh, first King, chapter 17, verse 1 to 16. You know, the greatest test of life is the test of obedience. Yes. Being able to hear God, to get the instructions, and you faithfully and carefully follow those instructions. If we look at, uh, I know this may not be the best example, Yakubeana. To say you have a choice, Yakuchagua mtoto moja kati ya wawili. Either, ukwe na mtoto mwerevu kabisa. He's an A class, A grade student. Nia na mkozaga, he's very sharp and brilliant. Lakini ya kuheshimu, anapanya dhambi, anakos crime all over, ni drama, kila mahali ni drama, ni pujo and all that. Lakini uwa ni ya naongoza class. Amu bewe mtoto ambaye ni akwapo katikati, lakini anakuheshimu, anakupenda, kila kitu kimogia, liu mamu. Yes sir, yes sir. Mbaka anakuita baba, sir. Anakuheshimu kwa jambu lorote lile. And he is always there for you. Obeying every instruction you give. Unaeza chakua mgani? Ule wa, eh, ya mule wa katikati. Ule wa katikati. Yeah, you can be very sure. I talk with a lot of parents. Mwoso wa wale wa mbao wako na teenagers. Sijafika pale. And I think, it's not that easy. It requires the grace of God. Waneza kusumbua, mimi nilikuwa mmoja wa wale walisumbua wazazi kabisa. Wana wamesama vitaku piangu, 
Uh, maybe you have seen that story. But by the grace of God, I am where I am uh, for His glory. Now, let's go to 1 Kings chapter 17 and verse 1. We read together. Now Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years except at my word. We proceed. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Live here. Turn eastward and hide in the carried ravine east of the Jordan. Now look at that. Everybody, you know? Live here, turn eastward. Yes. No instruction, very clear. Yes. You live and turn eastward. Mm. Those that are the instructions given. Mm. We proceed. You will drink from the brook, and I have ordered the ravens to feed you there. Where is the brook? How many kilometers is it from there? We don't know. For him, he just obeyed Nakaanza. Yes. I'm walking with God. Yes. And that's why I was talking about being a friend of God. At a corner of from here mm. to the next level. Mm. Because he sees the end from the beginning. Mm. Now, again, he in the process, he does things that from our own understanding, they don't look normal or ordinary. You know, God sends you now to the Mago of Mario Kaga. You know, it doesn't make sense. Yes. But now this word came to fulfill after he obeyed. Yes. We proceed. So he did what the Lord had told him. He went to the Kerry the Rabbi east of the Jordan and stayed there. So he obeyed fully. Yes. And that's what we are talking about, complete obedience. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We proceed. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening. And he drank from the brook. God promised a Cambodia condition and our provide. Yes. And it was very clear. Now, to make the matter of Matiare Haga, you know, Matigio and all that. Mm. Meat, hot yes. meat, Namkati. Yes. They brought, they also, you see, the same way he was instructed by God, mm. also these ravens were instructed by God. Yes. So the ravens obeyed, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and Elijah also obeyed. Amen. Now, if ravens can obey God, mm -hmm. what about us? Amen. Uh, in the New Testament, there is where uh, this was saying, Ogea, Kojin, and Mahilaka, and Mahiga Mahin. So that means no other Mahila Mamu. You can imagine. Mm -hmm. So, meaning anything created by God mm -hmm. obeys God. Yes. Unfortunately for us, human beings, Unfortunately, yes. in God forbid, yes. we don't take our relationship with God with the seriousness that it deserves. We proceed. Some time later, the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then the word of the Lord came to him. Uh -huh. Go at once to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have commanded a window in that place to supply you with food. Uh -huh. Maybe to Simamia Kosabia Muda. Now, sometimes we look at this verse to know that the Kama Kwamba, you let that the Alipatwa by surprise. The letter also on the Kedakanya Winke there. But now he said, You let Domo Nikonayo up a Kamutipa, you have to read. But now look at this verse I have commanded a window. Mm -hmm. Meaning also when he was sent, also the lady was sent. Yo no one in Mepatia, I'll use it for my glory and I'll bless you. Mm -hmm. So it, it was for her now to release it mm -hmm. as a seed. Mm -hmm. And now she would get a great harvest. Mm -hmm. Now she was left blessed more than she was born as spirit. Now this what we are looking at here is complete obedience. Mm -hmm. Complete obedience. Yes. Now, God is always precise and requires simple and bold obedience. His instructions are very simple. Like the way when you are in school, in high, probably in high school or primary school, 
uh, ukifanya mtihani pale the first thing ilikuwa inaandikwa pale read. you carefully read and follow the instructions mm -hmm. do you know why some of us walipita mtihani ama walianguka mtihani ah uh, nitumie wale walianguka mtihani maybe the reason why ulianguka mtihani you did not read the instructions carefully or you did not follow the instructions carefully ukambiwa draw and label the data maybe of a heart. Where we can tell the respiratory system. Ama maalum ungeandika maybe aorta, vena cava, we can dig up mitochondria, we can dig up the kidney of So you did not follow the instructions. Now, God's instructions are very precise. They are very clear. They are very simple. And there is grace to fulfill these instructions. So today, we are, what we'll be looking at is the mystery of our complete obedience. And uh, one thing I would like you to know, because God expects us to fully obey, to completely follow the instructions, uh, that means uh, delayed obedience is disobedience. If you delay, Mungu may come here, and then you delay, you have disobeyed. Mm -hmm. Also, partial obedience is disobedience. You know, in our, as a human being, when you get 90%, when you get 90%, that's excellent. That is A. Mm. If you come to my class, or Katina Panisha Practicals, if you get 80%, your exam because you cannot get 80 percent when it comes to saving your life yeah you have to do get a hundred percent in practicals now again in in God now in this kingdom if you obey 90 percent you have disobeyed it's a hundred percent so think about some instructions God has given you in your life, in your past. Did you obey 100%? Because if you did, every act of obedience has a reward. And every act of disobedience has a reward. I will share a bit of my testimony. Uh,